Among the components used in recent years, mainly for decorative and entertainment purposes, a decatron, an interesting lamp, is worth mentioning. A decatron is a multiple electrode discharge lamp with a cold cathode designed to be operated in digital circuits of counters, shift registers, switches, frequency dividers. As a rule, a 10-digit decayed counter is implemented on one lamp. That is where the name of the lamp comes from. Lamp counters in which the division ratio is different from 10 are also called polyatrons. Decatrons differ by key models, dimensions, cap device models, limiting counting frequency, duration of use and other parameters, the type of gas filling and consequently the glow color. The design of a two-pass reverse decatron is the simplest. The isolated pins are located around a single disk anode. They are indicating cathodes. Between each pair of adjacent indicators, indicated cathodes, there are two so-called subcathodes, the first and the second. All the first and all second subcathodes are combined into two subcathode bus bars. The output voltage is registered at resistors connected between the cathodes and the ground. Thus, a 10-bit switch counter has 13 outputs, anode, 10 cathodes and 2 subcathodes. There are also decatrons, dividers, in which only one of the 10 cathodes has an external output. In response, a relatively small positive bias respectively to indicate a cathodes. 30-40 volts is applied to the subcathodes. One constant positive voltage, sufficient to cause a glow discharge, is applied to an anode. There is a discharge between the anode and the cathode of the indicator. The discharge cannot pass to any subcathodes due to positive bias or to the neighboring indicator cathodes. Subcathodes from an effective barrier and anode resistance limits the discharge current level. A drop in impulse under voltage of 100 to 150 volt is applied to a zero cathode. This is to ensure that counting will start with a zero cathode rather than with the one that switched on randomly. A few features of the devices are worth noting. Count rate is limited to 10, 100 kHz. For fast, hydrogen decatrons and units of kHz for decatrons filled with inert gases. Besides, hydrogen decatrons are less reliable and stable. With long term retention of discharge on one of the cathodes, emission properties of other cathodes are deteriorated and the decatron gets older. But this process is to a certain extent reversible. Decatrons are restored through fast counting. That is why designers of mini bit counters recommend periodic rotation of lamps with different charges. Anode current of decatrons is restricted to values in the tenth and units of milliamps. Besides, it is advisable to select the operating current that is 1.2 of the rated current value. Connection sequence should be strictly observed. First is the shift, then the anode voltage, and the last is the reset pulse. When the multi-bit counters are constructed, decatrons cannot be combined with each other directly. A machine stage executed on a tube, a thyrotron or a transistor is required. As decatrons are few, amateurs do not often get more than one unit of the same type. As it is not enough for making watches, the most common design of an amateur decatron is a so-called decatron spinner. One can find many circuits for it on the Internet. It is a decorative device in which a decatron is forced to count periods of AC voltage in the network. Decatrons were forced out of industrial use by semiconductor integrated circuits back in 1970s.